In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to the accounting information system and special journals. First question, which is not true of accounting information systems? A, they collect and process data from financial events. B, they organize data in useful ways. C, they are not subject to internal controls. D, they are useful for decision making. And E, they help communicate information. So we're going to go through this one more time. We're going to cross off things as we go or selections or possible answers as we go using the process of elimination. Which is not true of accounting information systems? A, so of course we're looking for the things that are true in order to cross them off for the process of elimination. They collect and process data from financial events. So an, an accounting information system collecting and processing data. That sounds pretty much what an accounting information does. So I'm going to say that it can't be that one because that sounds very true. B, they organize data in useful ways. Uh, accounting information systems hopefully do organize data usefully in a, in a way that's useful. So I don't think it's that. I think that's true. C, they are not subject to internal controls. So the accounting information system is not subject to internal controls. Yeah, it doesn't sound quite right to me. I'm going to keep that there. D, they are not useful for decision making. They are useful for decision making. So accounting information systems are useful for decision making. Um, I would think that they would help in the process of making a decision. So I'm, I'm think that sounds kind of true to me. E, uh, they help communicate information. Accounting information systems, uh, it's the process of accounting. Accounting is kind of a language of business. So I'm going to say that, uh, yeah, they probably do help to communicate the information. So by process, process of elimination, I think C sounds like the most uh, relevant choice here of what would not be uh, included. They are not subject to internal controls. So we're talking about the whole information. It's uh, the accounting information system itself. But of course, within that system, we would have and want to implement internal controls in order. To, and, and those internal controls, of course, are there to try to uh, safeguard that we don't make errors. And, uh, and, and so we'll have those internal controls in place uh, for those reasons, for, for the safeguard of the system. So I think uh, that is going to be the answer. If we read through that, we're going to say one more time, which is not true of accounting information systems. C. They are not subject to internal controls. Next question. Journal used to record similar transactions. A. All, all journals. Journal. B. Just the sales journal. C. Special journal. D. General journal. E. Just the purchases journal. One more time. We'll read through it and see if we can cross some out with the process of elimination. Uh, journal used to record similar transactions. A. All journals journal. Uh, that sounds, I mean, I'm not sure there is an all journals journal. So I, it doesn't sound right to me. I'll, I'll keep it for now because I'm, I'm not too sure if that's a term. B says just the sales journal. So just the sales journal. Uh, notice here uh, that we have this term just, which really kind of qualifies it a bit. I'll keep it here for now and we'll, we'll go back to it. C says uh, special journal. Special journal sounds like a term familiar to this type of transaction for using special journals. Uh, there's got to be a special journals for them. So I'm going to keep that for now. D says general journal. Now a general journal, that's like our general ledger journal. Uh, so that's that's going to not really record similar transactions. If that's for controlling accounts for each transaction. So we'll say D. I'm going to eliminate D. And E says just the purchases journal. So again, we have one of these that says just in it. So if we look at uh, B and E, uh, they both say just. And then they say the sales journal and the purchases journal. So both of those are recording similar transactions, the sales journal being similar in that they're all sales, the purchase journal in that they're all purchases, but they can't both be correct. So I don't think that's going to be the broader category. So I think we can basically use those to eliminate E and B and be left with just A and C. Let's read it one more time. 
Journal used to record similar transaction is A, all journals journal, or C, the special journal. And again, I just don't think this all journals journal is really a thing. So I'm going to cross that out and be left with C, then the special journals. So the special journals are going to be those, those journals that we're going to use in more of a manual system as opposed to an automated system in order to simplify the process by recording transactions of a similar nature to that journal, summing them up at the end of the period, making one transaction in the general journal for that summary. One more time, that question and answer is, journal used to record similar transactions is C, special journal. Next question, which is not a special journal? A, sales journal. B, purchases journal. C, cash receipts journal. D, cash disbursements journal. Or E, general journal. One more time, we'll read through the question, see if we can eliminate some of the answers through the process of elimination. So, which is not a special journal? So we want we, we might want to start by trying to attempt to define special journal within our heads and then go through this and say, okay, which one doesn't qualify? So a special journal, remember, is going to be something that we're going to be using if we are using more of an automated uh, manual system as opposed to an automated system to save time by recording transactions of a similar nature into a grouped special journal summing them up at the end of the time period typically the end of the month and then recording one general journal for the entire special journal so uh, which is not going to be one of these special journals that we're only going to use when we're using this type of system one the sales journal that uh, sounds like a special journal because it's grouping things by sales so i would think that that sounds like a good grouping journal b says the purchases journal once again, it's that sounds like a journal that's really you know grouping transactions by the activity of the transaction. This case being the purchase, so that seems like it's going to be one of the special journals. C says cash receipts journal, and again, it's kind of grouping things by one particular type of thing, a cash receipt. So I think that's one. And D says cash disbursement journal, that also seems to be grouping things by a particular thing. So I think that's one. So by process of elimination, I think it's going to be E, and that's going to be the general journal. Now, the general journal does, you know, it is kind of grouping things in a special way by account, but uh, it's not, what that is, is, is going to be the general journal um, where we make the normal journal entries. So the special journals here, these first four, will be used in order for us not to have to enter a general journal for each transaction. If we can't fit a transaction into one of these special journals, we would have to then put it into kind of the general journal uh, under a system such as this, which would be kind of an overarching journal to um, to be there in case of a, of a problem, kind of one that just doesn't fit in all these other types of journals. So one more time, final answer. Which is not a special journal? E, the general journal.